One thing about me is that I'm random. <laughs> Welcome back to Hive Mind Unlimited. So you've seen our brackets. We had our friends make us a bracket of random things. Really what happened is our friends wanted to make a bracket <laughs> of random things and have us do it. And so now we're gonna do it. I don't know what's gonna be on here at all, but we're gonna do it March Madness style. Play along with us. Let us know what picks we make that are good. So <laughs> random. Random things bracket, let's go. Pew. We got <laughs> Mort from Madagascar versus Trebuchet. A Trebuchet? Is this kind of like a slingshot? It's that thing, whatever that thing is. Oh, look at that. What is a trebuchet do? It's a siege weapon. Yeah, like a catapult. Full time siege weapon, they would shoot like flaming rocks at castles. The flaming rock thing. Grab the trebuchet. Mort from Madagascar is cute. He's cute, but did he help tear down the walls of Jericho? Yeah, we gotta go trebuchet. I, I think so. <laughs> it's a feat of engineering. <laughs> Next we got Axe Body Spray versus a Cookie Monster Flat Bill. Now this is weird seeing these two go against each other because usually they go in tandem. Yeah, like a 2005 guy who goes to Spencer's and he is lathered in Axe Body Spray. His hair is self-greased. If you lift that Cookie Monster hat up, the amount of dandruff you're gonna find is going to be alarming. <laughs> <laughs> when he's walking into Spencer's to get the Cookie Monster flat bill, you can smell the Axe body spray from Hollister. <laughs> Woo, they're in the back. The hats are in the back. I'm gonna take body spray here because it's flammable. That's like the best reason to have an Axe can around your house. <laughs> yeah, you can turn it into a flamethrower. Yeah, kill bugs, uh, maybe an intruder. Yeah, maybe if you're on stage for like a rock concert, you pull one of those out and you just kind of <laughs> Sadly, I'm gonna disagree with you here. I'm gonna go with the Cookie Monster flat bill because I, I think you. it's a pinnacle of fashion and uh, where would we be without it? Grant, break this tie. Can't be about to do this. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna take the flat bill. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That's important. That's if it was an important. Elmo flat bill, I'm banging bloods. Whippets versus Mr. Beast Burger. Wow. Again, something that goes great in tandem. It's on DoorDash. I mean, you don't have to leave your house. <laughs> Can you pick me up a case of Whippets after you grab that Mr. Beast Burger for me? <laughs> Mr. Beast Burger is like one of my favorite things to say of yeah. all time. Just the mm -hmm. fact that it exists, you mm -hmm. know? Mr. Beast Burger on my wrist, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Mr. Beast Burger. <laughs> I've never tried it and I've tried Whippets a few thousand times, and <laughs> I've enjoyed it most of the time, so yeah. I'm gonna stick with the Whippets here. Okay, Grant? I haven't had either, but I think Whippets are funnier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> whippets are funnier than a Mr. Beast yeah. Burger? They make your voice all low. So could a Mr. Beast Burger, for all you know. You haven't had <laughs> one. Yes, but it'd be crazy. <laughs> mm, I'm excited to try this. Damn, <laughs> it's fucking good. Next we got shuffleboarding versus barstool sports. Famous gambling blog website turned podcast tycoons. Ooh, yeah. Dave yeah. Portnoy and boys. Call her daddy. I'm taking barstool sports here because they supply the app that I use to sports gamble. Mm. And the interface is pretty user friendly. It's nice. They give you good odds, teasers, you know, live lines, stuff like that. Yeah, I hate those people over there. I'm going to go with shuffleboard. Okay. I'm going to take shuffleboard. That's yes. fast. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Barstool Sports shouldn't go far in our bracket. Michael Bay versus Bidet. Michael Bay, famous action movie director of movies such as Transformers, I think Independence Day, okay. and Bambi was his first movie, I Bambi, think. Bambi, really? Yeah, he was a real deer freak. A deer freak. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. He used to go to Hollywood parties in a diaper with little spots on him and little horns, and he'd say, I'm just a little fawn, <laughs> and he'd prance around. <laughs> really? Yeah, he got a really bad reputation in Hollywood <laughs> early on, but he has since corrected his character and no longer dresses up as a little fawn. Yeah, okay, that's good for him, but I... Are you sure he directed oh, Bambi? Yeah. yeah, okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> sure. I well, know. I mean there's no other re there's no other explanation for him to dress up like a little deer in a diaper. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and a bidet is like a little urinal that squirts your asshole <laughs> with water. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had any experience using a bidet? We had a bidet in our house. Yeah. I never used it though. Oh, I did. I was too scared. I, I know liked you it. liked it. Yeah. I blasted my ass with that shit. Yeah. Well, I blasted the shit off my ass with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it's for. That's yeah. what the contraption is for. Yep. I'm going to go with a bidet. I will too. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Paralyzer by Finger Eleven versus Hospital Superheroes. Are these just like medical workers? What is Hospital Superheroes? Oh, uh, for like terminally oh, ill children. Oh, like, like Spider-Man at the hospital? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's yeah. so sad, but. I mean, it's not. It's a. It's some of those kids best, last best day. I mean, yes, but that's sad. That the children die of terminal illnesses? No, that children die with such terrible delusions, you know? Oh. They think that's the real superhero, and that's what's sad, is they yeah. They 
don't get a chance to grow up and realize that that's just some idiot off Craigslist mm-hmm. dressed up like Spider-Man. Who, when he gets off work, he puts on a Cookie Monster flat bill and goes back to Discord. <laughs> and smokes dabs all night. He literally is like, yeah, I hung out with some sick kid today for 10 bucks an hour. I'm about to live stream me do this whole gram. <laughs> but Paralyzer by Finger 11, I mean... Yes. I'm not paralyzed, but I I seem seem to be struck by you. Yeah, I'm going to go with Paralyzer. Easy, I had the CD. (laughs) (laughs) Next we got $16 versus Mutton Chops. (laughs) I mean, I can't lie. If I see a pair of Mutton Chops in public, makes my day. Yeah, it's kind of like a really tall person or a person with suspenders on. Yep. Just, or like cows on the highway. Yeah. You know, you have to point it out. Yeah. Like, you see you guys mutton chops? <laughs> mutton chops used to be people wearing like medieval, like fancy <laughs> garb. And nowadays it's a tuxedo t-shirt. Yeah. That is what a person with mutton chops wears. And like one of those little things that's not quite a top hat, but mm-hmm. it's one of those weird hats, like a milady sort of thing. Yeah. You know, milady. Like a rebound for a 50 year old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I guess I'll, I'll go to bed with him. He's got chops. He seems edgy. <laughs> He's a, He used to be a magician. <laughs> he used to be. I don't know what happened. But. He's banned for, yeah. doing it for whatever reason. I don't ask too much. It's just a rebound. He is handsy. I will say that. He's handsy. He's a handsy guy. <laughs> I'm taking mutton chops easy here. I'm going 16 bucks. Easy. I'll probably take 16 bucks. <laughs> okay. Young Sheldon versus an awesome backflip. <laughs> it really freaks me out when someone can whip out a backflip. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it too, but it's like, it, it boggles my mind. Yeah. Because I picture my long, lanky, uncoordinated ass trying to do it. Yeah. And I just don't get how people pull it off. I feel like you would collapse into like a pile of clothes. I'd probably break my neck. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the problem about Young Sheldon, like the reason I want to go with Young Sheldon here is that the lore is just a bottomless pit. Yeah. It is like so important to be able to reference Young Sheldon the way I can reference the Minions, the yeah. way I can reference the Big Bang Theory proper. Yeah, it is an important prequel to one of our generation's best stories. Yes, you know? exactly. But I am going to take an awesome backflip. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to uh, Yeah, I'm gonna take an awesome backflip. <laughs> Too. Yeah. I just wanted to say, you know, Young Sheldon is important to me because when somebody posts like Young Sheldon shot dead in Baltimore. Hilarious. Love it. I yeah. get a good laugh out of that. But if somebody <laughs> does a backflip in front of me, I might give them the 16 bucks I won in the yeah. first question. <laughs> I'm going, oh, yeah. oh shit. <laughs> Next, going bananas versus arson. <laughs> now, describe going bananas to me. It can be many things. Okay. One of them is like, <laughs> Absolutely losing your shit. Psychotic break. Like, I don't know, you went bananas. (laughs) You remember Scott from high school? Yeah. I heard he went bananas, man. Oh, no. Yeah, fully lost it. Jeez, he had two kids, right? Yeah, he's living with his parents now. He, like, doesn't leave his room. He's obsessed with trinkets. (laughs) Dang. I hate to hear that, but I love trinkets, too. Going bananas in its second form Mm -hmm. is somebody with crazy dance moves. Ah, yeah. Like, oh, my God, that dude's going bananas. And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. (laughs) He didn't have to go bananas, honestly. Dude, you went bananas on the dance floor and he's like thank you thank you yeah. <laughs> for its vagueness and like uh it's not a crime mm. i'm gonna go with going bananas arson is a little scary here yeah that's true and for the second time here i think we're gonna abandon our son yeah you know what i mean <laughs> next we've got nav by nav off of nav <laughs> Or romanticizing your melancholic solitude. <laughs> okay, so the song Nav by Nav off of the album Nav. <laughs> or romanticizing your melancholic solitude. I mean, I love the latter. And I don't really love Nav by Nav off of Nav. <laughs> it's better than Mark Jacobs by Mark Jacobs for Mark Jacobs. Or yeah, whatever yeah. that picture is with mm-hmm. the tag that's like Mark Jacobs 30 times. Yeah. It's better than that. And sure. Nav is one of my favorite artists of all time, obviously. But romanticizing your melancholic solitude, there is really nothing like that. Alone in your room. Someone asks you, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean? Just everything. It's nothing in particular. Mm. It's just one of those days. <laughs> you know? It's just one of those days. Yeah, I'm choosing that. That's awesome. Putting on a great outfit to be sad at home. <laughs> if somebody took a picture of me right now, that would be, would be cool, but no one's here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with romanticizing your melancholic solitude. Yeah, it's fun. Next, smallpox versus getting three fire reacts in the GC. <laughs> you know what's weird? I think three fire reacts a few years ago is awesome. Yeah, and man, nowadays it feels like K. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, it's like really lost its meaning. There's so many other emojis. The salute would be awesome. Handshake, awesome. Uh-huh. The twiz one. We're a little more laced in like irony and sarcasm now. Like mm. the fire emojis is too like, oh, dude, that's fine. Like this is the response you get when you're like in a group chat with your record 
weird label and you send a snippet and like the A and R who didn't even listen to it is just like <laughs> fire emojis. Yeah, like, uh-huh. we'll let you drop that in like four or five years. It's fire. <laughs> um, I mean, it's still better than getting smallpox. I don't know. It's a pretty brilliant disease in like a you know in a disease sense. Huh. It did a good job at eradicating a lot of people. Interesting take. I don't like it. I can't get it. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying it's a good disease. Yeah, not <laughs> a good disease, but like it was effective. Super effective. It's like Steph Curry. Yeah, I don't like him. I don't root for him. No. I don't like him. I hate when he wins. Hell of a player though. <laughs> Generational talent. Generate. Yeah. No. Yeah. He eliminated millions from getting their chance at a ring. Grant, what are you picking? I don't even know. You got to pick one, buddy. I don't know. I think Graydon kind of convinced me. I'm going to take smallpox. Smallpox wins the first round. That's insane. That's power right there. Uh, yeah. I get it. All right. Ashley Madison versus SpongeBob shaped mac and cheese. Oh, so easy. What's Ashley Madison? It's a. Uh, oh, I just I just know, learned about this. It's a cheating website. Yes, it's where you go to have affairs. It's like a online forum. It's like a billion dollar company. Yeah. Well, recently too, um, someone hacked Ashley Madison and released all the information or most of the information of people who were trying to have affairs. Mm-hmm. Well, Oh, he was explaining it to me and it was like, oh, it's a place where you go to cheat. And I'm like, oh, you probably, you know, you create an alias and it's all this sneak. No, it's just like your name. You go on there and you're like, and people are like, <laughs> well, yeah, it's like going to the porn store. Yeah. It's but like if you run into somebody at the porn store, you're both at the porn store. There's nothing. <laughs> but listen, you can't be like, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> like they're like, you're here. What do you mean? There's like, no confidentiality to it, though, which yeah. is surprising. SpongeBob shaped mac and cheese is awesome. There's something about the little like the porousness yeah. of it. You can kind of like. You can squeeze the cheese through the holes with your tongue while it's in the mouth. Yeah, it's porous sense. is he. It's yeah. part of the. It's part of the theme song. <laughs> it's like a different sensation. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go with SpongeBob mac and cheese. Easy. Um, Ashley Madison, though, I've got to hit her up. <laughs> I'm not in a relationship or anything, but I mean, I'll if, check out the site. If it's appealing to the people on there that I'm cheating. I pretend to have a girlfriend on yeah. Ashley Madison. They're like, so wait, tell me about the girl that you're that you're dating. And I'm like, oh, she's awesome. And her name is Megan. <laughs> I love her, but I needed more action. <laughs> and they're like, okay, yeah, sounds real. Next, we got Kevin O'Leary versus Trollface. Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> he's like kind of like the least famous like Shark Tank person, I feel like. Yeah, but he is, he's suave and he's bald and he's rich. Is he Mr. Wonderful? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's he's what they- very mean. famous. Oh, okay, yeah. never mind. I don't know why the name Kevin O'Leary just didn't do much <laughs> for me up here. It sounds like a pub. Trollface has so many negative connotations, but also just, there's something so visceral about the image. <laughs> and the Black Mirror episode. Yeah, Shut Up and Dance. Yeah, that's one of my favorite episodes and that ending is like uh, pretty fi. Yeah, but I, I like, like, it I has like, like a Kevin sound, O'Leary. like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Trollface has got to do it for me. Yeah, I think so too. It yeah. has a more important role in our culture. Yeah, than, than Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> Calling yourself Mr. Wonderful? Your name's Kevin O'Leary. Next one Natural Selection versus Trapezoid. <laughs> That's pretty easy for me. Yeah, trapezoid is one of my favorite shapes of all time. Yeah, trapezoid's sick. And natural selection, like, fuck it. Like, I'd rather just be able to, like, we choose. We choose? Well, not us two specifically, but, like, peop- science people. So you want them to do the whole, like, gene manufacturing thing? Sure. Uh-huh. Why not? Yeah, I'm not the CRISPR thing. That's not not for me. I think it's stupid. I think we just let it go how it goes. So natural selection I do like. It's uh-huh. just trapezoid. It's just a powerhouse. I mean, one of my favorite <laughs> shapes. The fact that it's called that. Think about this. Square, yeah. rectangle, circle, trapezoid. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Like on rare insults when somebody's like, this dude built like a trapezoid. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Next, we got Kakuna versus a firm handshake. Ooh. Kakuna is, <laughs> it's like a, isn't it like it's Weedle to Kakuna to, to Beedrill? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's the it's the middle stage Pokemon and then Metapod is the other one. Mm-hmm. It goes Caterpie, Meta, Metapod, Butterfree. Butterfree. Yeah. yeah. And I'm assuming Kakuna can only shield. It's Harden, yeah. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I hate Pokemon like that. Like uh, when you have a, what's Gyarados's Goldie Carp or whatever? Magikarp. Magikarp can only only splash around. Yeah, just splash. Yeah. yeah, it pays off when you get there, but in that state, it sucks. And a firm handshake fucking rocks. I'm thinking of like four people in my life yeah. that I can just count on every time I see him. Hey, Fred, how we doing? And he goes, grits yeah. the shit out of me, and it like humbles me. It makes me want to be a better man. <laughs> you know? Yeah, like the what a firm handshake can do for you is important, and Kakuna is not. 
Kakuna's bricked up though. That's the whole thing. He yeah. just keeps bricking up. <laughs> I'm going to be vulnerable here. I, I get kind of insecure about a firm handshake. Really? I don't have great grip strength. Yeah. And like the guys who do it, it's like I respect those men. But at the same time, I'm like, we're not the same. You know, like a guy with really hairy arms. I'm like, oh, God, here we go. I feel judged in that moment. Or like you hire someone to come over to your house and work on it. And he's like looking at the wall and he's like, oh, yeah, we'll take care of this. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with the supplies. And before you even touch his hand, you're like, oh, fuck. Like, no, yeah. I hope I'm ready. <laughs> it starts going in slow motion for me. Like I'm not even joking. It's one of those moments where you hear like a boom, and I'm like, dun 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 dun, and I'm like, oh god, and I'm like, come on, give it all you got. You might even go in for I'm one like, of oh. these. <laughs> and he's like, oh, that's surprising. You have like a noodle arm or something. <laughs> yeah, I hate guys like that, but I'll go with a firm handshake. Yeah, firm handshakes up there with an awesome backflip for me. All right, uh, Szechuan sauce versus ethical cannibalism. Ethical cannibalism. Give me an example of ethical cannibalism. Like when your plane crashes. And, oh, okay. And you oh. no food and you gotta eat something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the soccer team in the mountains or whatever. Yeah, alive, yeah. Yeah, so you get trapped and you have to eat somebody. I would never eat anybody. I would just die. Oh, I'd eat the shit shit out of you. That's and cool. And then I'd eat your legs. That's fine with me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's gross. Um, <laughs> I would jump off the mountain, honestly, or wherever. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna ever eat anybody, so I'm gonna go with the Szechuan sauce. I'd eat my whole family. And what are you gonna go with here? Probably Szechuan sauce, though. It's <laughs> awesome. I haven't had it. Oh, it's fine. But I've seen Rick and Morty. Show me what you got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. All right, on to the second side. The feminization of the modern man mm -hmm. versus BTS meal. What's well, the difference, am I right? <laughs> um, BTS meal off the menu plate. That's an important moment for me. Feminization of the modern man, I don't really believe in. Oh, really? I mean, like, I I just think it's like, it's such like a stupid concept to be mad about, you know? Oh, no, yeah, I'm not mad about it. I'm happy about it. I think it's a good thing. But I also think it's like, depends on where you're paying attention that you think that that's really happening. Sure. You know, I think it's just men expressing themselves a little bit more mm -hmm. because they found internet communities and real life social groups that kind of support them and the yeah. people that they are. Yeah, the use of feminization is just kind of the problematic term in there itself. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with BTS meal. Yeah, let's go BTS meal. It was actually really tasty. Good for the gang. Next we've got Chupacabra versus Dinner with Jay-Z. <laughs> that's so easy. I love a mythological creature. Oh, I have such a storied history with chupacabras. When I was a kid, I watched one of those TV documentaries about chupacabras and was terrified to the point where I had to sleep in my parents' room for a week and had nightmares all the time about them. I couldn't go in the woods anymore because I grew up kind of like the woods were my backyard right. growing up. And so I would always go build forts and collect animal skulls and do all sorts of weird stuff with my friends. And I literally was convinced there was going to be a chupacabra because there was a sighting of a chupacabra in Michigan. Yeah. And I grew up on the Ohio-Michigan border and was like... That's it for me. Yeah, like I'm gonna get eaten by one of these goat killers. That's crazy, because I watched a documentary on like Tasmanian devils mm -hmm. as a child, and yeah. it gave me like one of my worst reoccurring nightmares, where they like haunted my yard and everything was red, and I was like being chased by thousands of little Tasmanian devils. Now, are you sure this was a documentary? It wasn't just Looney Tunes? No, I'm positive. Oh, yeah. okay, because you know the tornado, <laughs> th like that's not part of the, that's yeah. not a real Tasmanian no, devil. No, no, no. Okay, cool, I was just checking. Yeah. yeah. I love a chupacabra though. As some form of exposure therapy, I'm gonna go with a chupacabra as well. That's brave. Dinner with Jay-Z, uh, it's just like, it's a little cliche at this point, it's trite. Yeah. Dinner with a chupacabra, uh, I guess we're both having goat. All right, Taco Bell on 8 Mile versus Rush Hour the movie. Taco Bell on 8 Mile is a nice one. There's a lot of different Taco Bells on 8 Mile, but I know what they're talking about yeah, yeah. because it's the one that I go to. I I'm gonna support my local business here. Rush Hour is kind of a man. <laughs> Supporting your local business is choosing Taco Bell. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Next we got Cats and Dogs Being Friends versus Bob Evans. God, Cats and Dogs Being Friends is very cute. Yeah. Um, Not as uncommon as I think most people would think. Yeah, that whole, like, that's a myth. That thing yeah. of, like, the dog chasing the cat around, it's yeah. not happening. Like, no. if they do it, they're playing. It's cute, but Bob Evans is cuter. Bobby E's, dude? Bobby E's is cute <laughs> as shit. For a chain restaurant, it really does capture the vibe of the old diner. Yeah. Even the characters, the people that work at Bob Evans, they sell mm -hmm. merch at the front. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like a very weird vibe inside of a Bob Evans, and it is awesome. <laughs> nice old women that call you sugar. Yeah, totally. <laughs> sugar, I'll get you those biscuits and gravy real quick. And yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> thank you. I mean, hungover on a Sunday morning, you get the gang to go out to a Bobby E's. I mean, that like full-bellied parking lot conversation, unparalleled. 
pop right next door over to Chili's for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going Bob Evans pretty yeah, easily easy. here, yeah. Joel Osteen versus <laughs> anthropomorphic wolf pictures. So this is the whole, <laughs> the new meme, the pensive wolf, yeah. you know? I mean, a very good character, very funny for memes, but Joel Osteen is like a, he's insane. I really want that documentary. I think it's gonna be amazing. He yeah. hid money from his own church inside the walls of his house. Yeah. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. He's like, like Dane Cook's brother in that way. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a, private jet. Yeah, he's like an alternate reality skeleton Jerry Seinfeld. What do you mean? You don't like Jesus Christ. He died for your sins. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to easily go with the wolf pictures, though. I'm going Joel. Really? Yeah, I love Jesus. I'll take the wolf pictures. Yeah, that's fine. The wolf pictures are awesome. I voted for Joel for the same reason I voted for smallpox, by the way. Powerful. Yes. <laughs> epic rap battles of history versus tadpoles. Easiest one here. I have never seen an epic, epic rap battle of history in my life. I have, but tadpoles are like one of my favorite creatures of all time. Yeah, I grew up near this pond. There was a pond that I used to go to called Frog Pond and we would catch tadpoles and frogs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I used to love those little suckers. Yeah, I worked at a land and garden koi fish place and we'd get bullfrog tadpoles that we'd sell to people so then they could have frogs in their pool, you know, yeah. eat the bugs and stuff. And you could just kind of squeeze those little suckers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Kind of, mm -mm. they eat each other when they die. Very cute. Yeah, totally. And when they start to sprout those little legs, it is so funny. Back ones come first. <laughs> You see them coming, and then they just, next thing you know, tail goes away, and it's a frog. Yeah, absolutely. Tadpoles are amazing. Yeah, we're going to go with tadpoles. Great source of protein, too, if you need a <laughs> snack. Next, we got Justin Long versus Bermuda Triangle. A lot of lore about, around both of these. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, the Bermuda Triangle, very fascinating, uh, confusing place where people get lost and are never to be seen again. Maybe it's a portal to a different dimension. We don't really know. It's led ancient aliens type people to believe the power of the the triangle and they'll link it to the pyramids and there's all these the Illuminati. In, yeah, insane conspiracies going on and I indulge. I, I believe in the power of the trapezoid more than the power of the triangle understood. personally. Yeah. The Bermuda trapezoid. Yeah, Bermuda <laughs> trapezoid would be sick. We just need to find like two more locations yeah. to really, you know. But um the Bermuda triangle can't even hold a, a tooth to what Justin Long did in Jeepers Creepers. Justin Long, I mean, it's kind of an unfair advantage because he is the most award-winning actor of all time. He's won true? the most Oscars of any actor to ever live. I didn't know. He also has the most money of anybody in Hollywood. It seemed a little surprising. Are you sure? Sexiest man alive, 25 years running. <sighs> no, I, I don't think you're right. He also played three seasons for the Minnesota Timberwolves at one point. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, he scored 35 points a game no. and he averaged 25 assists, which no, is I, like an insane stat. Nobody I, even re really ever does that. I would remember that. Yeah. Um. And then the other thing about him that is super crazy is that he won three seasons of Chopped. <laughs> yeah, he won three seasons of Chopped. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I was going to vote for him here regardless. Yeah. He was runner up on another season too. So oh. he did four seasons. He got second place. And honestly, I mean, I'll admit his, his dish was, it wasn't as good as the winner of that season. I still wanted him to win because I'm a big fan, but yep. Yeah, good. It's Justin Long. Justin Long. <laughs> Next we got mitosis versus the Carfax Carfox. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if life is possible without mitosis, but this is not keep one, leave one. We can, you know, still have mitosis and no. I'm gonna rock with the Carfox here because he's quirky. He seems like he might've gotten kicked out of the animatronic band at Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, he has that look to him. Yeah. <laughs> maybe he didn't get kicked out of the band. Maybe he just realized that this dream of his wasn't ever gonna reach. Yeah, creative you know, differences. Yeah, and yeah. it was like time to get a day job. He was the star. Yeah. And then they weren't ready to propel him to the fame he deserves. So right. he got it on TV. Next, we got Rick Owens Ramones versus Ricky Rubio. Oh, a Cleveland Cavalier himself. We acquired him about halfway through the season last year, and he was a great tutor to first-time All-Star Darius Garland. Totally. Came off the bench. Uh, I believe he went seven for seven from three in MSG last year. Amazing. Absolutely shot the lights out. Has kind of developed that long-range shot. Still has the flash and flair to his game that people love. Uh -huh. Can really control and command a second unit for yeah. any ball club, especially a young team like the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm happy he's returned. I think he's worth every penny we paid him. He makes us a better team. Let's go Cavs. Yeah, let's go Cavs. I'm going to take Ricky Rubio all day. Loved him when the Timberwolves drafted yep. him as like a young Spaniard EuroLeague player. With yeah, them. he played with Justin Long for two seasons. Yeah. See, I don't remember that. He did play with fat Kevin Love, and yeah. now he's with skinny, hunky Kevin Love in Cleveland.
one. So it's just a fun story. Ricky's a great NBA player. Really stuck around. Ricky Rubio for me. (laughs) I don't even have to talk about those Rick Owens shoes. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Wagmire Toilet (laughs) versus Student Driver Bumper Sticker. I hate the Student Driver Bumper Sticker. It just, I don't know. I have like a weird memory associated when I was learning how to drive. Yeah. Didn't like it. Yeah, you don't seem like you would have liked it based on how you drive now. Yeah, just like, I don't like being, oh, you can't drive one hand. Quit smoking a blunt. Like, turn the music down. Like, yeah. I'm not going to give you roadhead. Like, all that kind of <laughs> shit. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Quagmire Toilet. I mean, that's just like peak physical comedy. I mean, that's a physical gag. Look at that. It's hilarious. Yeah, His it mouth is, is a toilet. Yeah, I mean, it's come hilarious. On. All right, uh, let's go with Quagmire Toilet. <laughs> Quagmire Toilet with a bidet. All right, next we got Mom's New Boyfriend versus Squatter's Rights. Let's go Squatter's Rights. It's fine. If it's like an abandoned house or something. Yeah, I guess so. I'm going to go Squatter's Rights, I guess. Absolutely, but, yeah. Mom's new boyfriend is cool, though, and he buys me stuff. Yeah, and he likes video games. Well, at least he buys me video games. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I would miss Dad, obviously. I miss Dad. But, like, it, it could have been worse. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Like, sure. he's just, like, a cool guy. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, Spaghetti Dinner versus the Trolley Problem. <laughs> spaghetti Dinner is kind of low on my list. Like, it's got to be really fucking good spaghetti. And, like, it takes some gun. To order a spaghetti dinner while you're out. Spaghetti dinner, here's what here's the thing about it. So tasty. I kind of disagree. <laughs> I kind of disagree with you. Like yeah. it doesn't have to be that good. Spaghetti yeah. is like good. Like, oh man. Sometimes I'm just like, wow, shoveling that shit down. But as I get older, like it makes my stomach hurt a lot. Yeah. Like, like what the fuck was spaghetti? How did I eat spaghetti when I was a kid? A lot of it. Like too. I would eat like a ton of it and yeah. be like, ha ha ha, I'm gonna go run around now. <laughs> and now I eat spaghetti and I'm like, God <laughs> damn. It's not spaghetti with meatballs though, and I hate meatballs. Love meatballs. Ugh. What is wrong with you? I hate meatballs. It's just disgusting. But I'm taking it over the trolley problem. Trolley problems, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Let them die. I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) I'm never going to be in that position anyway. Yeah, I've never been near a lever, so. Street Magicians versus ALS Ice Bucket Challenge videos. Street magicians are pretty awesome. They're hit or miss, though. You're really rolling the dice on the type of person that's going to be. Yeah, but you're not rolling. You're on a walk. You didn't go out like, oh, I'm going to find a magician. No, but I'm saying, like, you have a chance to run. It's a fight or flight situation. Like, (laughs) if somebody comes up and they're like, I'm like, no, 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 uh-uh. Like, I'm like, no, I don't. I don't want to be doing this today. You know what I mean? Because I don't know what you got going on. Like, psychologically, I don't know what you got going on. Especially if I'm with a girl, I'm like, this guy could be anything. See, I think that's best case scenario. It turns a walk into a little date. Yeah, but it's creepy. Yeah. I'm going with the ice bucket. <laughs> the ice bucket challenge videos are insane. I'm going street magicians. The, easy. The fact that we could just like call out other people and they would do it and you're just getting, I don't know, it's funny as hell. Mind freak though. Mind freak. I'm going street magicians. Easy. Al's ice bucket challenge. <laughs> I'm taking street magicians. Fuck. Let's go. That's a bummer for me. <laughs> All right. Next we got Fushigi ball versus Tame Impala is just one guy. So the idea that there's a type of mansplainer mm-hmm. who says that Tame Impala is just one guy. Oh, know? I'm familiar. Fushigi. Yeah. Her shiggy <laughs> balls were Ooh. lit as hell. Oh, that is one of the, that is like magic to me. The ball's moving, but how? It's like possessed by some sort of satanic magic. And the peculiar vibe of the type of person who has a fushigi. Exactly. Like sometimes you meet somebody and you're like, this guy's got a fushigi ball in his car. <laughs> yeah. like, he is going to break that thing out yeah. and he knows how to use it. Like, yeah. you know, there's a type of person and I love those people. It's awesome. It's a kind of accessible magic too. Cause it's yeah. not that hard yeah. to like make it look cool. You just kind of roll your hands around it and it's like, it's like the mirrors in there or something. It makes it look strange. I don't know. An amazing, amazing toy. Ah, I would say it's more of an art form. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing art form. <laughs> situation chips versus Vimeo. <laughs> What's a situation chip? It's like not quite a relationship. It's more like you're kind of hanging out with somebody. It's a little bit past just like hooking up, but it's not quite relationship. Oh, Vimeo sucks. Ah, Vimeo is a, is a good meme though. It's like yeah. funny, like to be like, check but, out our new video on Vimeo. <laughs> I'm taking Vimeo, I guess. Yeah, situation chips is just a weird word. I don't like those kind of words. <laughs> Vimeo is a funny word. Yeah, that's funny. Vimeo. Vimeo. The cool bug you found versus Martin Shkreli. All right, again, I'm going to go back to my smallpox kind of argument here. I'm with you on this one. Martin Shkreli is a very powerful man. Did some bad things for sure. Yeah. But I also think, like, I like anybody who's willing to play the villain. Like, in a certain way, he was just like, okay, people think I'm a bad guy because I raised prices on this drug that helps a lot of people. I'll be the Joker now. The fact that he just, like, bought the Wu-Tang album and, like, he leaked the Lil Wayne and Kendrick song. Yep. He leaked the song off Carter 5. 
that was Lil Wayne featuring Kendrick before it was out. Just played it on live and was like, yeah, I got the car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all like, Martin Shkreli, how are you doing all of this? And I just like that that type of character exists. Yeah. And so I'm going with Shkreli. Easy, yeah. I found a lot of cool bugs, but Shkreli. Second round, we got Trebuchet versus Cookie Monster Flat Bill. Wow. I didn't think we'd have such tough decisions to make today. Ancient Contraption versus Modern Classic Fashion Statement. I'm going to go with the Cookie Monster Flat Bill. I think I am too. It's more culturally important. Yeah. Easily. Whippets versus shuffleboarding. <laughs> whippets all day. Shuffleboarding for me. Sorry, we disagree. I hate whippets. I hate the sound of the canisters clanking around in a garbage bag. I just, when people are on them, they like stumble around. It's just like annoying. Shuffleboarding <laughs> here. Yes. All right, we got Bidet versus Paralyzer by Finger <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> I gotta go Paralyzer here, you know? Uh, I don't know. Cause like I haven't used a bidet in years and I'm fine and I'm not like itching for a bidet. But if Paralyzer came on the radio, what would your reaction be? I didn't dance I wanna make you move. Right down your standing still. Yeah, you're right, you've convinced me. It's just such a crazy song. It's insane. Why does it exist? <laughs> it's insane. All right, $16 versus an awesome backflip. Flip me up. Yeah, that's an easy one. Awesome backflip. Going bananas versus romanticizing your melancholic solitude. This is like a Final Four matchup right yeah. here. Two vague kind of amazing expressions of emotion. I prefer to romanticize my mel melancholic solitude. Yeah. Um, but I really appreciate when someone else goes bananas. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say going bananas because there's a funny name for it. Yeah. Romanticizing your melancholic solitude. It's funny to say in a certain way because there's a, a lot of long words and yeah. stuff, but going bananas is just, <laughs> going bananas, like, yeah. there's just something like so like, ah. Tonight you know? I want to go bananas. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to go bananas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go bananas. All right, go bananas. Smallpox versus Spongebob mac and cheese. I think this is where the power of smallpox kind of gets diminished. Yeah, totally. Spongebob mac and cheese is all powerful. <laughs> Omnipotent. Yeah. yeah, really. Troll face versus trapezoid. <laughs> This I mean, is easy for me. I think it's trapezoid, but troll face is really good. Oh, it's trapezoid. Get trolled, troll face. Trapezoid is hilarious. It's like an ancient shape. Like <laughs> it's an ancient shape. All shapes are ancient. I know it's existed for a long time. Geometry. Troll face is new. Yeah, that's true. And it does have a negative. It's got a dark side. If white supremacists were posting trapezoids, then I have a different conversation about it. <laughs> yeah, but you're right. Trapezoid is like everybody can get along with a trapezoid. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, let's go traps. A firm handshake versus Szechuan sauce. I'm going firm handshake again here. Yeah, me too. Again, makes me insecure, but at the same time, I respect it. When mm -hmm. I see two other hairy men with Do a firm handshake, I'm like, nice. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, look over there. It's like when you're watching dudes play beach volleyball and they chest bump. You're like, oh shit, they're into this. Yeah. All right, second round on the other side. BTS meal versus chupacabra. Chupacabra all day long. We should get a chupacabra meal. It's like a goat burger. <laughs> Taco Bell and 8 Mile versus Bob Evans. I gotta go Bobby E's here. Taco yeah. Bell, I, I know I want to support my local business and stuff, but I am from Ohio and so is Bob Evans. If this were a different type of bracket, this is about being random things. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like Taco Bell more and eat there more frequently. Sure. But Bob Evans has like a certain charm to it that mm. carries it in this type of bracket. I can smell the wood. Anthropomorphic wolf pictures versus tadpoles. Tadpoles walks here. I mean, they categorically do not. <laughs> they walk for me, though. They walk eventually, yeah. but for right now, they swim. I love the little tadpole. They look like a little spaceship or something. I don't know. I'm kind of charmed by the wolf pictures right now. I'm, I'm almost mystified by them. Like, you know, looking up into the night sky. They're almost romanticizing their melancholic solitude. You think they're hot. Everyone thinks they're hot. They've got like a hot human body, but with a wolf head. All right, I'm team Edward till the day I die, cuz. I can't turn my back on the poles. <laughs> I'm going wolf pictures. This one's up to Grant. Dude, I love the wolves. I'm going wolf. Grant is the wolf. Next, we've got Justin Long versus Carfax Carfox. <laughs> I think Justin Long snapping that little fox's neck, skinning it, and making a scarf out of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Quite literally, Justin Long has been in every single movie that's ever been awarded an Oscar. And the Carfox Carf, whatever that fucker's name, is. He's never even made a cameo in like a progressive commercial. I was Justin Long in Casablanca. I don't even think he was born. Well, it's yeah, technology and stuff. They kind of like put him in it, but he's in it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Justin Long goes. Justin Long also 
had a successful run for Congress a few years ago and turned it down when he got there because he said that he doesn't believe in the idea of government fixing the actual problems and was running to prove a point. It was like an exploitation kind of thing. Sort of, yeah. Well, all he did was then he appointed somebody who thought was best for the job once wow. he got there. It's a really inspiring story, but. A woman, I hope. It was a woman. Next, we got Ricky Rubio versus the Quagmire Toilet. Ah. <laughs> I didn't think Rick would have such a tough matchup in the second round. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> It's the style of play for me. It's how I like to play. It's yeah. a little flair. It's a little three ball. It's scrappy on D. You know, he's not the most athletically gifted guy, but he brings some sort of electricity to every arena he walks into. And we have to remind people that in our top 10 family guy bits, Quagmire Toilet was only number seven. Yeah. That video is on our channel, by the way. Go check that one out. Uh -huh. uh, one of my favorite videos we've ever done. Yeah. And I'm not going to spoil which one won, but the chicken makes an appearance. And the... Ah, yeah, that one's a huge one. And good. mommy, mom, yeah. mom, mama. You're literally yeah. gonna crack me up. Fuck, dude, that show is so fucking funny. It's um, Ricky Rubio for me. Yeah, it's Rubio. And we got squatters rights versus spaghetti dinner. <laughs> All right, I, I'm done caring about people. Spaghetti dinner. <laughs> I still can't tell if that wins for you. Yeah, it wins. Oh, okay, so yeah. get a dinner, yeah. Okay. Pay your rent. Street magicians versus Fushigi ball. <laughs> fushigi, I'd re like, picture the person on the street with a Fushigi. I'm awesome. stopping. Yeah, I'm like, I'm watching it for a little bit with my loved one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> It's mystifying. Honey, why did you call the waiter at the restaurant a disgusting pig? Shut up and watch the Fushigi. Fushigi ball? Yeah. Or Fushigi? No, it's Fushigi ball. You have to say the ball part? Yeah, you're not going to call a basketball a basket. It's a basketball. When you put it that way. It's yeah. a Fushigi ball. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to argue with that. Vimeo versus Martin Shkreli. Shkreli. Yeah, it's Shkrell man. A lot of the people are doing well in this Well, because they're people. They're random things, but yeah. they're people. Sweet 16 time. We've got Cookie Monster Flatbill versus Shuffleboarding. Can shuffleboarding lose? already? Yes, absolutely. Okay, good. Cookie Monster Flatbill is amazing. <laughs> it's becoming a fan favorite. It is a fan favorite. All right, let me know if you're a Cookie Monster Flatbill freak <laughs> in the comments. Next, we got Paralyzer versus an awesome backflip. Finger 11's gotta lose here. Oh, <laughs> God, oh, fuck! I mean, the song, for like the 10 seconds, we sing funny, and I'm kind of hoping for a TikTok revival of it. Yeah, I was hoping like maybe if somebody does an awesome backflip and on the land, it kind of drops in. Like it's like, I've been there. It's, it's like the whole part at the end of the song where it cuts out the instruments and it's like, I'm not paralyzed, but I seem to be struck. And they land like yeah. on that part, you know? That would be sick, but for now, I've got to go with a backflip. Yeah. Going Bananas versus SpongeBob shaped mac and cheese. Maybe the hardest matchup yet. Absolutely. But I got to stick with Going Bananas. It's multifaceted. Yeah, it means so many things. Yeah, like SpongeBob mac and cheese, great, but it is kind of like children's prison food. Like it is great for that, but like I'm not eating it anytime soon. That's true. I got to go bananas. I'm going bananas this weekend. I'm probably going to go bananas this weekend as well. Now we got trapezoid versus a firm handshake. <laughs> It's a firm handshake, but a handshake is cool too. Yeah. Uh, trapezoid for me. Yeah, trapezoid. I'm, okay. I'm sick of these masculine men. Now we got, on the other side, Chupacabra versus Bob Evans. God. <laughs> Chupacabra, mythological creature, Bob Evans, magical restaurant. <laughs> for old people and uh, young people who want to interact with old people. Yeah. I gotta go Chupacabra, though. I hate to turn my back on Ohio, yeah. but the mystery, you know? Yeah. I've been in so many Bob Evans, I know it. The Chupacabra, it's scary. Yeah, yeah, it still scares me to this day. Yeah, I love it. Chupacabra. <laughs> Next, we got anthropomorphic wolf pictures versus Justin Long. <laughs> what if he played an anthropomorphic wolf in a movie? He does. Oh, God. <laughs> what hasn't he done? He was in Twilight. He played Jacob. Next thing you're going to tell me, he's been on the moon. It seems like you don't want me to tell you anything, but it's pretty obvious that he's been to the moon. <laughs> He's how Justin is that, Long. How is that obvious? If Pete Davidson's going to take that shuttle ride into space and back down or whatever, Justin Long has definitely been to the fucking moon. Now that's a shuttlecock. Justin Long. I'm going wolves. I'm taking the wolves. Let's go. Justin Long loses. Yes. Eat shit and die. Justin Long, he's only been in B movies, never been in a good one, never nominated once for an Oscar, can't even rap. Can't even dance. I don't even know if he wears pants. Well, this is an invalid bracket, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter what happens from here on out. <laughs> Only reason I voted for the wolves because I knew Grant was going to ride for me, and I just didn't, I couldn't stand another false fake news about Justin Long. Fine, I'll leave you with this, though. Okay, okay. Justin Long is the creator, founder, and genius behind Smart Water. He's done a lot of shit. Ricky Rubio, spaghetti dinner. I'm riding for Rubio, and I'm not taking a Justin Long type stance here. It's just, I'm inspired by the way he's played basketball throughout his career. 
Spaghetti dinner for me. I'm thinking spaghetti dinner. That's fine. Both of our favorite people have been eliminated. Can we be friends again? No. Ah. My favorite person's still in it. It's <laughs> Fushigi versus Martin Shkreli. This is actually so tough. Yeah, I'm gonna go Fushigi. I'm thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. Martin Shkreli, kind of the villain of the world. <laughs> Justin Long could play him maybe in the upcoming biopic. He is playing him in the upcoming biopic. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's gonna do a great job. Don't believe everything you hear, guys. Um, I'm gonna go Shkreli. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take the Fushigi ball. Okay, oh, Fushigi geez, wins. Geez, geez. Elite Eight, we've got Cookie Monster Flat Bill versus an awesome backflip. I'm gonna I'm gonna ride with the flat bill. It's like a backflip's better if I see it in a day, like if I just see the flat bill, it's whatever, mm -hmm. but it means more to society, I'm afraid. It's played out. Out. That's what I think the backflip's a little played out. A lot yeah. of people can do backflips. Not a lot of people can successfully rock a Cookie Monster flat bill. You gotta have some balls. Next we got Going Bananas versus Trapezoid. <laughs> This is very difficult. You know, I think oh. going bananas comes to an end here. I'm thinking of all the ways I can apply it, and it's beautiful and it's funny, but it's not tangible. Yeah. When you say trapezoid, I see it. Clear as day. It's right in my head, yeah. Funny image. Bottom heavy square. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going bananas though. There's so many ways you can go bananas. I understand. Go bananas on the dance floor, psych word go bananas. Yeah. The song goes bananas. That sex with you went bananas. No, you that to a no, person? you don't want to say that. You could, like, oh, this sex goes bananas, babe. Yeah, that's just. During sex, you just go, this goes bananas. I gotta say. You're still single, right? I am single, correct. Yeah. I'm going trapezoid. You're going trapezoid? I'm going bananas, and I'm gonna let Grant choose. <laughs> I'll take trapezoid. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cubacabra versus anthropomorphic wolf pictures. The matchup we've all wanted. Yeah. It seems like it makes a lot of sense for the new It does. Year. I think I'm going to side with the wolves here. It's more artistic. It is. It's still mythological. Yes. But it has a, it has a mood. If it's a pensive chupacabra, <laughs> then I'm on board. Because then I'm like, wow, it I didn't a know vibe. a chupacabra could have a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> but here I see the vibe the whole time. Yeah. Anthropomorphic wolf pictures. Yeah. I don't think it's going to age well because I think that's kind of like, it's definitely going to like phase out and be a corny. For sure. But right now, it's when hot. we're filming this, it is a hot image. Yeah. I'm going wolf pictures. I'm going wolves. Now we got spaghetti dinner versus fushigi. This is an easy one. Where are you going? Fushig. Yeah, it's kind of tough for me. Fushigi. Spaghetti dinner is very like pedestrian. Like it's yeah. very like, I like it because it's hearty and it's yeah. like a classic and there's something kind of funny about it just being a spaghetti dinner. <laughs> like it's all, it's just spaghetti dinner. But Fushigi ball is like, it's like, here's the thing. Okay. Yeah. Say in one day. Yes. You see somebody going crazy, going bananas even, <laughs> with, with a Fushigi, fushigi ball. And then later you have a spaghetti dinner. Mm -hmm. What are you telling your friends about the next day? Yeah, probably the probably the fushigi. You're probably gonna be like, yesterday I saw a guy with a fushigi yeah. and he was going bananas. They're like, what'd you have for dinner? And I'm like, it's not important. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter what I had for dinner. Let's focus on the fushigi. Yeah, fushigi. Final four. We have Cookie Monster Flat Bill, Trapezoid, Anthropomorphic Wolf Pictures, and Fushigi. First matchup: Cookie Monster Flat Bill versus Trapezoid. Here I'm going Trapezoid. <laughs> I am too. Yeah, it's, I mean, just, it's just better. It's a cool shape. It's less stinky. Honestly, the flat bill is good for like one picture on Instagram. Instagram, or if you are an oil brain and have that lifestyle of playing video games all day, being on Discord, drinking Monster and Mountain mm -hmm. Dew, then yeah, that's perfect for you. And yeah. I love that for your everyday <laughs> outfit. For me, I take one funny picture in it and then it's probably just sitting in my closet. Yeah, it's done. But a trapezoid. That lives forever. Now we got Wolf Pictures versus Fushigi. Now Fushigi has outlived its time, but it's still powerful when you see it. I fear post meme life of the anthropomorphic wolf. Yeah. In 10 years, if I see that wolf, Wolf, I might not even think about it. But it's so potent right now that I yeah. really can't imagine a finals without it. The part I'm worried about is how like aroused you seem by the wolf. I think the world collectively is aroused by the wolves. I think I'm kind of like, I'm like middle of the pack, no pun intended, on like arousal from the wolves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like everybody is getting off to these things in one way or another. I'm not saying like getting off like but you said full it. on coming. Like I'm not saying like, I'm not saying like literally climbing climaxing to the wolves. I'm saying getting off mentally yeah. to the wolves. Yeah. Like they're hot because not only are their bodies sexy like yeah. men, but they are also, it's their mood. Yeah. It's the fact that they're wondering about the world. What's well, the lone wolf mentality? A man sitting on the side of a mountain thinking is hot, but yeah. when you give him a wolf head, yeah, it's, hotter. it's hotter. He's out in the wilderness staring up at the sky and thinking about solving the world's problems. I guess my argument, my final argument for the Fushigi is 
because I can interact with it. I can be a Fujigi master. I will never be a wolf man. God, if I could interact with one of those wolves, though. Yeah, we know. I think I know what you do. You don't know the half of what I do. <laughs> I'm going to go wolf pictures. I'm going Fushigi. I'm taking the wolf, baby. Yes. Oh, yeah. So that sets our final. Our final is a trapezoid <laughs> versus the wolf pictures. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to put up a poll uh -huh. on YouTube in the chat. Vote, vote, vote. Trapezoid versus the anthropomorphic wolf pictures. I need you guys to cast your votes. Also, in the chat and in the comments, let us know what you think got snubbed. Mm -hmm. Okay? Not only stuff that's on this bracket, like what would you have liked to see make a run, but also what should have been on here. Yeah. We can always do this one again. Oh, we are going to. There are lots of random things out there. That's how the world works. Yeah. <laughs> so, would you like to cast your vote? I'm convinced the sex appeal is really, really something. The wolves win. It isn't that easy for me. I know a lot of people <laughs> think that it would be, but the trapezoid really holds a special place in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> something about that goddamn trapezoid. It's the name of it combined with the shape of how it looks uh -huh. and also just how simple yet complex it seems to be. Mm -hmm. You know what? No, I'm going trapezoid. Grant, decide our winner, please. This feels really important. Yes, it is. It is. It's super important. Oh, I'm going to go with trapezoid, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Trapezoid wins the random things bracket. The underdog. Yeah, that is crazy. Trapezoid. Oh my gosh. I'm happy for all my trap heads out there. That was the random things brackets. Literally just a March Madness style bracket of random things. We can do this or any idea that you have because obviously we're taking them. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let us know what bracket we should do next. Get down in the comments. Also, you know, we got our Patreon, our Cameo, all that stuff linked in the description. Thanks for all the support. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to our main channel, Hivemind. And do you like to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? It is the difficulties that will define a man. All right, this has been I've Been Living, and we'll see you in the next one. Woo! Yeah! Trapezoid, <laughs> baby! <laughs> oh! That's my wolf. Whoosh. Oh, that's not what a gun sounds like. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Don't do that face at me. Don't. <laughs> right. I'll I'm, do the Hive Mind Unlimited. I am begging you to take this seriously. Oh, I'm going to take it serious. Today is all about- So help me God, if you don't take this seriously, I will leave you on the street with nothing. Today is all about being serious. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to be serious. <laughs> Due to COVID, I thought when they said hospital superheroes is just going to be like regular <laughs> nurses. Our <laughs> heroes. <laughs> oh God, this is dirty. Oh God. Egad. <laughs> Take out a life insurance policy on anybody who says egad. Yeah, because they're going to get shot. <laughs> well, no, it's just they're all too old to uh, be alive. Like, yeah. it's coming up is what I'm saying. <laughs>